Hey folks, it was a dry day unless you were along the I-69E corridor from San Benito to Harlem's and up to Combs and then kind of off to the northwest from there. Little showers popped up right there this afternoon. It rained for a pretty good amount of time, then it moved away. Total still relatively light out of it. The only thing left now is up north of San Manuel, even that shower fading away. We could still see something pop up the next couple of hours before we get to sunset, but after that then should be quiet for the rest of the night. This Here's your satellite and radar together. And again, you see the stuff flaring up in the eastern part of the valley. Kind of the sea breeze trying to come together today. The models did a pretty good job of suggesting that would happen yesterday. If you watch tonight, again, maybe a stray pop-up shower. But during most of the night, it's just mostly cloudy. And by morning, it's probably cloudy completely to start the day. But as the day goes on, those clouds break. We'll see a little bit of sunshine. Can't completely rule out a brief, stray, isolated afternoon shower again. But for the most part, it's a dry day across most of the valley into tomorrow night. It stays that way. We're mainly dry now, which means our chance of rain is less than 10 percent. Means we can't completely rule something out. But a vast majority of the valley for a vast majority of the next few days should be rain free. Bigger picture across Texas. Take a look at what's going on. There's not a whole lot today to the south and east of us. Some pretty good showers off to the west in Mexico. Some showers, a little bit of stuff coming out of the mountains in uh, eastern New Mexico. Future track suggests that we're going to see a front making its way toward the state. A dry line will fire up, though, and probably trigger some big storms in Texas as we head into the weekend. Not just Texas, but up in Oklahoma and Kansas as well. That's ahead of the front along the dry line. Question is, can any of that get down here? At this point, it looks like no. Probably not. In fact, we don't see much chance of that happening at all. But for folks in North Texas and then moving eastward into the weekend, there is potential for some pretty strong storms. But again, for us, it looks like all that stays well to the north. And we stay pretty quiet. Even these fronts on the weather map should stay to the north of us, so we don't see a whole lot to give us a chance of rain. 89 right now, McAllen, 96 Rio Grande City, a bunch of 88s on the map. A little cool report is about 84 degrees. Overnight tonight, we bottom out in the mid 70s again. Mostly cloudy skies, some patchy fog, a possibility. Then tomorrow, we're back up again to about 90 plus across a lot of the area. Southeast winds 5 to 15. That chance of rain again for tomorrow stands at less than 10%. Here's like your next three days. The normal high is 90. We go 93, 94 for Saturday, Sunday. So the weekend is above average, but the records of 99, 99 to 100 shouldn't be threatened. We should stay well below that. Travel plans as we get close to the weekend. San Antonio, the morning showers, thunderstorm 72, Dallas 70 early, Houston's at 73. By afternoon, most of the state rebounds into the 80s. Still spotty showers around Texas during the daytime tomorrow. See so first one five accurate the forecast for tonight. Maybe a brief shower this evening. Otherwise, just some patchy late night fog below 74 tomorrow. Back to 90, partly sunny, breezy, warm. Your chance of rain stands at less than 10%. That's the same thing for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures back into the mid-90s. And next week, looks hot and dry for the most part all the way through the week. And with that, temperatures warm up into the mid-90s. 95 on Tuesday, 93s on Wednesday and Thursday. That's your updated First Warn 5 Accurate the Forecast.